Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today's video is somewhat Christmassy and festive um, but I did mention a couple of videos before that I got the new James Charles Morphe um, combo palette and that I was going to review it and I loved some of the colours in it so I thought I'd create a festive look for you with it um, so yeah gonna sound like a normal youtuber but subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit that bell button for notifications when i upload so let's get on with the video so i'm gonna start out by laying my base makeup down and my um eyebrows so i'm starting out with the primark my perfect color glow foundation and mine is um the shade porcelain this is SPF 30, so it's brilliant for summer as well. Um, it's just a new one that I got that I've got to try out because I ran out of foundation. I'm just going to blend that all out. Next I'm going to go in with concealer and this one is the MUA Cover and Conceal and this one is in the shade Fair. I'm just going to pop that under my eyes, my T-zone, my nose and my Cupid's bow. So, and then I'm going to go in with bronzer and I am using the W7 Shimmer Bronzer Compact. It comes like this. I'm just going to contour my face really quickly. Now guys, if you do ever see me laughing in this video, Tyler is in my bedroom whilst I'm filming and he is acting a little bit like an idiot because um, he knows it's going to get me laughing. <laughs> so also, that's bronzer done and then I'm going into the Makeup Revolution um, Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit in the shade Ultra Fair and I'm just going to take the blush shade and pop that on the apples of my cheeks. <laughs> Finally for base makeup I am going in with highlighter and this is the Boohoo Stella highlighter. It's got a really nice purple shimmer to it. So I'm just going to pop that two dabs on my cheeks, two dabs on my nose and a very small bit on my cupid's bow and then i'm just going to take my middle finger and just dab that in like so tyler is now trying to twerk 
which could be interesting to see. <laughs> <laughs> and if he's not careful, I will turn the camera around so you guys can see what he's doing. There you go, so that's all my base makeup down and then I'm going to move on to the palette. So guys, just quickly, I've done my eyebrows off camera and I used the NYX Fire palette. Um, at the moment, this has been my go-to palette for my eyebrows, but I used these two shades here um, to do that and I just used a very small flat-headed brush to do so. So, on to my eyes and using the James Charles palette. So, this is your outer packaging. Um, so, it's obviously got James's face on the front with his signature. Um, I like the fact that the box is really simple um, and your standout piece is James himself. Um, I also like the fact that it's matte and that the only thing that is in sort of a shimmer um or a gloss finish is the morphe times james charles um i personally love everything matte and i would have everything matte if i could um on the back it's got a little message so it says hi sisters james charles here and welcome back to my mini palette i love glam but i also have a huge passion for crazy colourful outside of the box makeup. Our original palette was formulated to create literally any look you um, could possibly imagine and now this mini palette is perfect for on the go glam too. I can't wait to see what you come up with when you unleash your inner artist. So it's a really nice little personal message from him to all of his fans and all of the people that buy the palette um i got the mini palette just because a I, we couldn't afford the bigger palette um and b just it's still quite big in itself as a palette um and i've always wanted this palette so to even get the mini one was like a dream come true so moving on to the actual palette itself again it's matte with the gloss finish in the title and the name um, and then opening it up you do get a cover sheet that has all the names on it um, so I am keeping that now I have used it for a couple of looks um, but I haven't used every single colour so I'll play with some new colours in this one. So opening it up and you've got all the shades here. You've obviously got your row of bigger shades, um, bigger pan sizes and then the rest are smaller. And you also get a decent sized mirror. So you can see, you can see my ring light there. If I lift it up you'll probably be able to see Tyler. Um, but you get a decent sized mirror in this which is what I really like because I have a habit I have a mirror here but it's very very messy and so I have a habit of using the palette mirrors just because I tend to keep them a heck of a lot cleaner than what I do in my normal mirror um, so yeah overall I love the packaging and I love the way it's all laid out and the way it's set now whether i'm gonna like all the shades is another thing um but we shall see i mean this was gifted to me by tyler um we went to nottingham and we went in the Nor morphe palette and this is what i picked up so so guys because i'm not sure on whether to go with green or red i'm gonna do a mixture of both and see what we come up with so i'm gonna start off by laying down a 
crease colour and then work my way outwards. So, I'm going to start off with the shade Daddy, which is this. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> this deep forest green shade. I'm just going to pop that in my crease. Now, if you haven't seen James's last video, this is the crease shade he used when his puppy picked his makeup. So I've just popped that in the crease and then the next shade I am going for is called Social Blade and it's this bright green shade right next to Daddy. Just going to take that off and just try and blend it in with daddy and blend it up so it's this middle pale yellow shade really nice transitional colour just going to pop that above social blade like so so now I'm going to cut my crease and then I'm going to go in with some more colourful shades from this palette so I'm going back in with my MUA concealer I'm just taking a very small flat brush, picking that concealer up, popping a little bit on my lid, look up, and then cutting my crease. So I've got both clip creases done and then we're going to move on to some different shades. So off camera I've also taken a little bit of the green out of this outer corner. Just because I'm going to do sort of a ready. I'm feeling like a ready liner type effect but like smudgy liner. I'm not sure. Um. So anyway what i am gonna do is take this very very small angled brush it's more of a nail um detail brush but i thought i could use it for um doing this smudgy liner look so I am going in with this red shade, which is called, give me a minute, it's called You're Kidding. Um, and just on this very small angled brush, I'm going to go near my lash line first and then smoke it out.
So next I'm taking this white shade called Flashback and I'm just going to pop that over where I've done the cut crease, avoiding that red. brush I used for the green I'm just gonna bring that back in so I'm taking the shade um, social blade and just bringing that in on the lid just to bring it all in with that crease I'm going to go back into the shade Daddy and pop that next to that on the outer corner. Just bring it all in together. And then to complete the lid, I'm going to go in with the Collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner in the shade Funk 3 and just pop that along my cut crease. So my camera died but as you can see I've just popped this glitter crystals, glam crystals gel liner along my cut crease and then I'm going to do my lower lash line so for that I am going to take the same red shade from before which is called You're Kidding Just pop that along the lash line. And I'm just going to blend that out with Rusted, which is this shade above your kidding. For lashes I'm using two mascaras, one's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and the other one is the Boohoo Mascara. I'm using the Tarte one on my upper lashes and the Boohoo one on my lower lashes. a fully completed eye look so it's just lips to do and then I will do a full review for you guys so for lips I'm going into my revolution retro luxe lip vault and these are the lip kits Tyler picked this up from B&M for £20 which is a bargain you save about uh, we worked it out about 40 to 60 pounds um, and the one I am going to be using today is the shade Regal which is this really nice red shade so I'm just going to pop that on and then I'll be done So there you have the completed makeup look. So my review on the palette. I love the packaging as I said before on both the box and the palette. I also like how clearly laid out the 
palette is in the main box as such and I love the colours to look at just to even look at they're really really pretty they go on the skin really really nice really pigmented you don't need a lot like a little bit goes a very very long way and they also blend really really well my only issue is that you do get a lot of kickback in the pan um so you probably will be forever cleaning the palette i also like a lot of the names that he's come up with um and they are very true to james charles um i am yet to use a lot of these colors here but i will do in future um but overall i am really really happy with this palette and it is something that is going to be used a heck of a lot on a regular basis and on a regular basis on the channel um so yeah i will put my ratings out of five down here for you guys um so yeah if you like this video click the thumbs up comment down below share and subscribe i am back every week with new videos for you guys they're not going to be up on a regular day but i will be back every week with new videos for you so if you have any suggestions comment down below um all products will be listed down below for you guys along with all of my social media and i shall see you in the next video bye guys